All right, well, hey everybody, Rob Satram here from Feedback Wrench, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files using Google Drive. We we use G Suite Gmail and the Google Drive system to allow our customers to upload large files, particularly photos that they might be taking with their phones or they might have on their computers so that we can get them and use them in their websites. Also, this is great for your logo files or anything else. You know, when you email things to people, um, they can get lost in the email. A lot of different email servers don't work. So I'm going to show you how to upload files to us or how to upload files in general to Google Drive. Now, first of all, Google Drive, if you didn't know this, is a cloud-based storage. And what that means is that it's almost like there's a hard drive out on the internet on Google servers that is very fast, it's very effective, and it lets us share files back and forth. So the idea here is that you could be sitting in, you know, in Saudi Arabia or Minnetonka, if you wanted to, you could be uploading all of the photos that you want us to use on your website. And then us at our offices, we're able to accept them. So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to go to google.com in order to use Google Drive. And what you're going to do is you're going to sign in. Now, um, once you've signed in, once you've signed in, you will see that you've got access to a whole bunch of different Google Suite or Google Drive applications. So this is, once you're logged in, you'll see that there's a little letter here or perhaps you've put a photo in there and you're gonna be able to see that. Um, you've got your, your Gmail, which is under Mail, but when you hit these little buttons, you're gonna see Gmail, Google Docs, Sheets, and a whole bunch of other things. If you hit More, sometimes your Google My Business account might be down there, but what we're gonna do is go to Google Drive. So when you click on Google, Google Drive, up pops this window. Now what's happened here is that basically your entire um, browser here has been transformed into a lot like a Windows Explorer file. So now when I click on the Windows Explorer file, remember that if I've got, um, let's just say I've got some photos here, and, or let's just pretend this is a photo file. I'd be able to take this, I could right click, go down to copy, and then I could go to a different window and I could paste it if I wanted to. And I'd be able to do all sorts of different things. Well, this window, you know, I could also click on it, drag it, and maybe I wanted to put it on a different hard drive or a jump drive. I could drop it into a jump drive it was plugged in. So there's lots of different things you can do. Essentially, Google Drive is going to work the same. Okay, so what I'm saying is that if you were to open up this and grab a file from Windows Explorer, you'd be able to drop it and it would upload it into the drive. So that's how this is essentially gonna work. So a lot of times I'll actually have it so that the window isn't full screen so I can kind of see it here and then I'll open up a Windows Explorer or on, on Mac you'll have your own Explorer button. But you hit this, so over here you'd find the, the files that you wanna transfer and have them open here. Maybe they're under pictures. You might have a bunch of different pictures that you wanted to. You'd go over here and you click and drag. You'd see down here there's a, an upload process happening and boom, it's there. So now that's in Google Drive. All right, now if I hit back, I can see the drive again. But that's just the basics of Google Drive. Um, I'm gonna cover just a, a couple of real quick things. On the left here, you're gonna see there's My Drive, and that's the drive that's associated with your specific G Suite or Google or Gmail account. That would be associated, in this case, it's support at feedbackrench.com. But then you have what's called the shared with me folders. Now shared with me folders are folders that have been shared by other G Suite administrators or Gmail users. So in this instance, this is where you're going to come to upload things to us. Um, we take, we use the G Suite program. We are a power user and we have unlimited drive. And basically our unlimited drive, one of those we will assign a folder to you that's meant to be your upload. So what you'll do is you'll move away from my drive, you'll go down to shared with me, and then what you do is you double click into that folder. Now now I'm looking in the, the folder that's been shared with me, the feedback wrench folder that we've actually shared with you. And now all there is to do to share things with us is to go over into your Windows Explorer or if you had you know a camera plugged in or something like that, and then you can click and you drag and it will upload it and it's there. So now, on our end, we'd be able to access those files. 
So this is how you're going to do it. You log into Google, you open up the drive, you'll go to shared with me, you double click on the one that we've shared with you. And if you don't see that, just shoot us a quick email, we'll get that shared to you. And then you will drop and drag your files in here. Now you could delete them if you wanted to. Um, you could right click in this open space here and you can create a folder to keep yourself organized. And then you're also able, if you hit the new button here, you can create a Google Doc, which is like a Word document, spreadsheet, or a PowerPoint. There's some other ones here that you can do, which are very convenient. So the other thing you can do is you could hit new and you could go, um, there's different ways to upload, but that's the most basic guys. Hopefully that'll help you understand how to get files to us. The other thing that I would mention is that there is a mobile version of it here and you can go download the Google Drive app on both iOS and Android. And once that Google Drive app is up, um, we are going to, you would have the app open in your phone. And then when you're looking at photos on your phone, you can hit share or upload and upload them into Google Drive and we'd be able to get them. So I'm Rob Satram, feedbackwrench.com. Hopefully that uh, helps you get us your information.